Alright everybody, what is up, it is XPolarP here, and today, we're doing another aircraft review, and it's going to be about the Alibeo DA42 Twinstar. Uh, now, there are two versions of this, uh, the Alibeo 42, uh, the Alibeo 42 Twinstar, um, or the Aerobasque DA42 Twinstar, and... This one, the one from Alibeo, comes with the G1000, so the Garmin 1000 navigation system. I'm not sure if the Aerobasque one comes with it, I'm not sure. Um, but I will definitely do a comparison video of those two and also a review of the Aerobasque one. But this is the newest version, um, so this is like the new plane. It's been, I think it's out for like a week now. And uh, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So uh, if you want to get this aircraft first, watch this review and then you can maybe see if you want it or if you don't. So uh, this is the page, uh, just xpin.org, you know, the, the, the org store. Uh, then you just go to under General Aviation, then Alibeo, and then here you see it retails for $32.95. So here it is, the Diamond DA42 Twin Star from Alibeo. There we go. And here you got some pictures, some videos, uh, some information. You get 66 points when you purchase this item. And yeah, so here it already has the... G1000 GPS system, and yeah, so a link to this site will be in the description below. Right, so let's first take a look see outside, and also the options here. So, this is the autopilot, um, I might show you that later. Lighter. Uh, we have some options here we can open the pilot door, the we can passenger door, right baggage, and left baggage door, window reflection, and remote reflection, static elements, scroll visualization, and uh, we can also change the liveries. Uh, but I'll, I'm actually gonna put the render reflections off. Maybe it'll get a bit of a better frame rate. I don't know. And then the views. We got the pilot view, the pedestal, the pedestal. I don't know how to say that. Pronounce that really. Uh, switches. Uh, left wing cam, tail cam, co-pilot view, avionics view from rear. Wing cam right, and the belly cam. So let's go outside. There we are. And yeah, the volume. And yeah, and then the field of view. But we're gonna keep it as it was, which I think was about there. Righty. <laughs> so um yeah, we have some doors open here as we can already as we already showed you guys. This is not functional I'm afraid. There's like pushback toe thing me jiggy. Um that would be pretty cool if that would be functional. Um then this we have the covers for the airspeed and altitude, I think. No no no, not altitude, but the airspeed. Um, and yeah, so this, it's a very nice aircraft actually, it can seat four people, uh, including the two co-pilots, um, so two passengers, or three if you don't have a co-pilot, and I think we can go ahead and start this aircraft now, so let's go ahead inside the aircraft, put this on, there we go, it's the battery, master switch, we can also hear it in the background and yeah so I think that's it for now so that's good and we can actually close close the left baggage door the right passenger door and the pilot door yeah we can close it and I'm scared of the static elements as well because we do not need them right now put a bit of sound up Open these window. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Go away. Uh, there we go. That's open. So the window reflections are off. I can show you them with it. There we are. It's a bit darker, and you know the reflections here. But for performance reasons, let's leave them off. Right then, let's engage. This is the parking brake. I'll show you a bit inside actually. Go better here. We have uh, you know two seats. There we go. It's actually also a very nice view for them. Pretty cool. See the engine. Uh, I, th I don't know if you can actually put some luggage down here. I'm not sure if it's good or maybe if it's a bit dangerous. Let's see what it says here. Out located or actually got like uh, behind cover. Cabin baggage compartment. Yeah, yeah, seems like it. Baggage extension. Yeah. So I think. Oh, I think this is baggage extension. Maybe. I don't know. Well, it's cool. Uh, and here we have some lights working. So this is very nice indeed. And also the back one. We don't really need it because we're not flying in the dark. So we'll actually just leave them off for now. Um, 
here we have the com uh, for the we have the headset so uh, if you have passengers these are for the uh, passengers so this is for the right back left back uh, co-pilot and pilot and yeah I don't know where these are hmm I don't know or oh, I think I missed something okay then oopsies that's not what I wanted to do and here simulation some oh simultaneous use only ah now I understand uh, so the fuel transfer for left and the right one and our seat belts we can't put them on though I'm afraid in the uh, in the yeah, NXPN 10 that'll be pretty pretty awesome though and uh, yeah so I actually like it and normally uh, this would turn on as well but we have to put on the AV master I'm not sure why and uh, we can also do is we can grab this it's pop up screens there we go which is actually very nice indeed put this one away Let's go to the engine because we're going to turn on the engines in a moment. Um, uh, but first, we're going to put on our strobe lights. I don't know if we should put on our position lights or not. I'm not sure if we shall. I mean, the strobe lights are on. Um, so, those are good. Because I checked online and I watched a video. Um, and he didn't uh, watch, uh, he didn't put on the position lights. Um, and it was actually in real real life. So um, I watched an actual startup of the real D42 Twin Star Diamond. Um, and, he, and he just put the position lights on. So um, I'm just going to go with that anyway. So yeah. <laughs> um, so we're going to monitor this. I hope it works. So let's go here. So on the left one. There we go. Scooting up. And Twitter, I did about. There we go. Should fire up now. Let's give it a little boost. Oh, no. See, in real life, you would just have to go like this, and it would already start up. But that's not the case in x 10. Which is a bit weird. It's really frustrating. There we go. Now it's firing up. Let's close this. There we go. There we go. Also, 3D sound, which is very nice. And here you can... Actually, let's go here. Here you can see the RPM going up to about 700, I think. It's about good to go. Uh, we can put this away. See, so yeah, this is about G1000. Come on. Uh, the oil pressure is here in the green, and that's very good. And the fuel quantity, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's all good. Let's go to system. Right. Amps. All right, this didn't work. That's weird. Normally, this would go up a bit. Uh, all right, but this is very good. So 27.7. Uh, I don't know. That's that's all right. And let's turn on the second engine. So put this one to the right. Oops. And you guys can actually use this uh, if you want to start um, this up as well in real life, because it does actually. Uh, because this is what they do in real life. Right. Let's go. That's firing up. Uh, system. All right. This is still saying at 27.7. Didn't move. So this is right. This is now going. That's good. And let's switch them off. Good. Right. So I think we're ready now. Um, and we have some lights. Well, here. There we go. Uh, flood. But we don't really need them. We can turn them on a bit to make it look a bit nicer. Um, so ooh, nope. These should actually be on. There we go. Okay. Uh, no warning lights here, which is also very good. Also good. Always good, I mean. Um, so we turn on the right engine, turn on the left engine. Let's test the gear alarm. That is working. Gear is down. That's very good. And so let's put... Oopsie, sorry. Let's put the cross feed. Put both of them down. And uh, if they work then the engine should still be running in like a couple of seconds, so that's good. And I'm actually going to show you where we are right now. So we are in EPWA, which is in Poland. Um, I think it's called like Warstor? Warstor? Something like that. I don't exactly know how to pronounce it. Um, and this is a payware airport and payware scenery. Um, and here we go, we have a little city, obviously due to my performance specs um, of my computer. Uh, it's not the best quality, 
but it does cover quite a big area actually not a huge area but quite a big area um, of houses and this is the airport it's a two runway airport which is pretty cool and it's actually also pretty nicely detailed um, some ground textures um, load so actually so this is what it is I'll show you guys so here we can see a hangar with also I think it's like an embryo inside um, also a couple of hangars uh, with some static aircraft which is very nice indeed and also some moving moving thing yep there we go there's an embryo LOT uh, being taxied to its gate I believe looks like it at least or it's being taxiing out there I'm not sure um, and this is the airport which is actually pretty cool very nicely modeled some moving uh, trucks um, yeah cars so what we're gonna do uh, our plan today is we're gonna we are located here so we're gonna go left take a left turn here taxi down here turn to right and then turn left here all the way down there all the way here uh, actually no here uh, we probably even could line up here and start which we might even do we can try we can see if we'll get up to 76 knots just in time or maybe here uh, and then take off turn right maybe do like a fly fly over, over the over the scenery and then land on this runway not exactly sure what the heading of this runway is but it does not matter and uh, yeah so I think that's pretty much it so what we can do is we can go back inside so uh, let's double check everything and see if everything uh, is how it should be uh, good so the engines didn't turn off so we can put the fuel selectors Mac uh, back up and then I think we are ready so we can put on the taxi light taxi light is on strobe uh, they're off that's good and um, P dot heat uh, we'll put that on before we before we uh, take off even though we don't really need it but um but that but I think that's what you should do um, no matter if you need it or not and yeah so put this off and also it's got scroll wheel support which is very nice indeed and uh, so the parking brake is now off uh, let's check flight control check we can't check oh, actually we can all right good elevators and elevators are working that's good uh, let's check flaps so let's do take off so one all right that's check and check flaps are indeed working and we will be taking off with flat configuration one because it does actually say take off flap configuration is the first one um, some people don't take off with flaps but I do normally always um, yeah so parking brake is disengaged I think we're pretty much ready so it's good to add a little power actually what we can do is we can open a window and go just get a bit of get some fresh air in right and let's go take left here very nice I don't know what this is actually what is that crap is here uh, right there we go and um, the one we're taxiing I uh, can just talk about something a bit um, so I do have a lot of aircraft and scenery to review so uh, definitely do not unsubscribe because I'm I'm, I'm planning to do uh, an XP10 video every Sunday which actually has been working for the last a couple, like two or three weeks now. Um, let me check where we have to go. Right, right here and then left. Right, good. So let's check this out well for taxi. Very nice. Super nice aircraft. I really love it. Oops. Alright. And uh, right turn here. Okay, good. Um, and yeah, also what I thought of doing uh, was doing a small flight with every single aircraft that I um, that I read you and yeah I hope you guys think that that's also a good idea so exactly what I did with the Cirrus SR20 um, which I also did a review about if you go check that out uh, I did a short flight um, in uh, New York and yeah so I might also be probably will uh, upgrade my GPU so my graphics card very soon so I will have better quality video and also maybe do some streams 
and the future, so definitely uh, stick around for that. Right, so let's see, where are we going to line up with the runway? So I think we can actually line up here. I think I think that's good to do, right? Actually, no, no, let's go there. So, so not the next one, well, not the next one. So in three, all right, that's, that's cool. Um, so I think we did our, all our checks. Um, so we are going to be taking our flat configuration one. That's take off flat, uh, flat configuration, and um, the uh, the rotate is 56 knots, and that's with the flaps for takeoff. And then we will retract our gear and do a loop around the city of Warsaw. And I actually, actually also, um, I think, got a request uh, to do a review here in Warstore um, from a subscriber or from somebody who told me, uh, I spelled a peek, can you do uh, your next review uh, in this uh, city? And it wasn't the next review what I did, but um, yeah, I'm doing it anyway, so I hope you're happy, whoever, whoever you are, you are, who told, told me to do it, yeah. Um, Rate. Right. Right. So actually, what we can do is we can set this, uh, put it to so put it to zero. Um, this is about zero. Zero. Nope. Um. There we go. That's a bit zero. That's good. Uh, so we also have an old-fashioned compass here, which is also working, obviously. So we're going to take the next right turn, line it with the runway, I think. Yep, yeah, perfect, good. So it's going to be the next one. Oops, focus. Right. And actually what we're going to do is we're going to hold short here. Runway ahead, I know. So we're going to hold short here. Parking brake. Uh, set. Right, and now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put the tax lights off um, and then put these up. Uh, a, see that's good. Okay. Okay, good. So the amp, yep, they came up to 10. Uh, right, this is like, what? This is 26? Yeah, it's 20, 20, no, 28. That's still okay. Um, gearbox, um, yeah, so 35 degrees Celsius. All right, it's going down. It's good. Uh, but it's obviously still in the green. And then now what we need to do is we need to hit these two buttons, but we only have one button, so let's put this up. And we need to fire this up to max RPM. Go check that out. Uh, max RPM. Alright, good. Working. And let's do the right engine as well. Oh, wait. There we go. Alright, looking good. Alright, everything looking fine. Uh, put the. Put, uh, no. Taxi landing lights on. Uh, I think this is all good. Um, oh yeah, put pilot pilot heat, pilot, pilot heat on and tax lights and landing lights are on. And we'll set a takeoff. So let's go line up with the runway. Parking brake is off. And we can now close this window. All quiet now. The right one runway actually. Alright, let's see. It is. Looks like it though. No, it's not. Alright, so we have to line up here. So we're just gonna go. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Actually, I hope I'm doing the right direction. Yep, yeah, I am. <laughs> God, that was so scared. Alright. Uh, what we can actually also do is set the flaps. There we go. 
flaps are down, that's good, so they're working. You know, just some final checks, right? Speeding, speeding a bit, right? And uh, lining with the runway. Actually, we've got to set our course because we are got to, we are got to land on this runway. So let's quickly set our course. It's not working yet. I don't know why. It's working on my SciTech flight instrument panel though. So that's good. Let's do it here as well, actually. Uh, where's our course? Here it is. Our course. Nope. No, where's our course? Nav, range, MS. Come on, man. Why is our course not working? No, this is not. No. Heading. Oh, it's a heading. Oh, we can put it also there. Nope. Right. I don't know what's wrong. Maybe there's something wrong with startup. Um, heading nav course. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Oh well, I think it's just something wrong with the aircraft. Um, right. So part P dot heat is on. Is all on. Uh, on. Those are off. Flaps are set. Course. Parking brake is off. Starting with the runway. Actually, also we now go to autopilot and see if it's on. Yep, it is on. That's good if we need it, but we probably won't. Uh, but I might check it out. Alright, so taxi 99s are on. Okay, good. Alright, we're done. Gear is down. Drop set. And let's go. So, rotate. 76 knots. Alright, 60 knots. 70 knots. Rotate. Pause the red time. You're up. Nice little sound there. The pressure, there we are. Absolutely done. Just incredible. Really just incredible. Uh, yeah, landing and tax slides off as well and we are flying sky high that's good and there is warstar i think that's how it's called and what we're gonna do we're gonna take a right turn soon have a little bit see there leaving our way there leaving our little airport quite big airport action and yeah looking very good let's come down a bit we can retract the flaps there you go flaps are retracted Gear is up. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a right turn here. Let's keep a hundred knots about. And let's trim the aircraft a bit down. Oops, sorry, no, that's wrong. No, we're going too high now. Let's see if it's Stable, not quite. Um, I don't know. Right, where's the city of Warsaw? Come on. I think we already passed it. There it is. Nice. Right, cool. There it is. Very nice. So this is Poland for you guys. See where the runway is. Can't see it yet. And there it is. So this is the runway that we took off from. And this is the runway that we are going to land on. Oh, a bit of a steep turn. Bang angle was very bad. Alright, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna fly over our runway that we took off from and then do a loop and touchdown. Right. So let's keep this altitude. So actually, let's go ahead and test out. You see, can we open the window? Can't open the window. Alright, we're going too fast. Probably too dangerous as well. Not really. 
so altitude. A B on. Altitude, come on. There we go. Well, this is actually an easy altitude. Um, arm, there we go. So it's keeping this altitude now. Um, let's go put the heading. If you're wondering how I'm selecting the heading, I'm doing this with my SciTech flight instrument panel. So, let's see, where is the runway that we took off from? Alright, we are pretty high, so let's keep this heading. There we are. And let's go down. Let's go down to 1000 feet. Alright, it's going down. Um, 1,000 feet, good. Okay, good. This is all looking good. Let's put it a bit up. Vertical speed, let's put it to minus 10 degrees. There we go, 10 degrees, perfect. Alright, slow yourself down now. We're actually going dangerously fast. Okay. Let's actually also drop our gear down to a pretty small drag. Let's keep this altitude. Alright, we're leveling off. Turn ourselves around. Right, let's quickly check here. So 137 knots and 111. So 137 knots is the maximum speed to land with or to go with configuration one. Right. Right, so let's go parallel with the runway now. We're almost parallel with the runway. Can't even see the airport anymore. 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 What was that? I don't know what to do. What am I doing with my life? Right, so this is the app. Alright, so this is the one that we're going to land with. Uh, on. Uh, there we go. Twin Star. That actually looks really cool. That looks very nice. Um, why are we. Yeah, we're stalling. That's why I was like, wait, what's happening? We're stalling. Oh, yes. Come on. Right, I don't, I don't need. What am I doing? Oh my god, we're stalling. Right. right, there we go. Jesus, that was close. Right, let's go manual flight now. Okay. Uh, we're not going to put on any lines on yet. We are heading up. I don't know why. That's why. Right, somehow our trim went back by a lot and I honestly have no idea how I did that maybe I'll attach the trim oh, okay I think I touched the trim on my yoke that's why alright good so let's take a left turn now 108 knots um, so let's just quickly check back so this is the runway right good so let's go follow this Line, whatever this is, I think it's. Oh no, oh no, it's, yeah, it's just a normal motorway. Autobahn. So we could actually land on this one now because we are perfectly lined up. So I think actually that's what we're gonna do now. Right, good. So we're not gonna uh, put down any flaps yet because we don't really need to. Uh, but we're just gonna line up. Right. It's down a bit again, now we can't. That's stupid. Okay, we are still a bit too high according to the Pappy lights. So the landing lights on. Landing lights are on. Very good indeed. Alright, slow down. Claps. Configuration 1. Uh, 
Add a little bit of trim, downward trim, right. Can't, oh no, we can't open it yet, that's a, that's a shame. Right, then a little bit left, we are still a bit right. And uh, we can put down the flaps full, let's put down flaps full. Okay, we can feel the upwards left of the flaps. What is this? Wow. This looks amazing, really. Alright, good. Alright, we've got one red, three white. Happy lights. Alright, here is down. We've got three green. Alright, and we've got three red. We're a bit too low now. What is this aircraft? Is it DHL? It is a DHL. 757, that's pretty cool. Alright, add a bit of power. Oh, it's 74 knots, which actually seems a pretty good landing speed. But let's keep this like there. Uh, okay. Right. Okay. Looking good. We're pretty much in the middle of the runway. Almost, not entirely. But uh, yeah, I do actually really like this aircraft. So okay, just over the runway now. Cargo bay there, it's pretty cool. All right, gonna go over the right stripes. Landing on runway 33. Got to flare a bit. Right, back up. Oh, we did bounce a bit. All right, now we're down. And let's break a bit. Alright, cool. So let's go take the next exit. Uh, we'll track our flaps. And actually, let's see where the next exit is. There it is. Just to the right now. So I have no window. Right, here we go. And let's just park here. Right, perfect. Go for engines. Perfect. Open up our door. That's not what I want. Open up our door. Perfect. Can we actually open it up from ourselves? I don't think we can ask, but that's stupid. Right. So this is the aircraft, DA-42 Twin Star. Very nice aircraft indeed. I really do hope you liked this review. If you did, please let me know and get, give it a thumbs up. And uh, we'll try to do some more Xpin 10 videos, which I will definitely do. And um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. It's been X-Pilot P. P. Please like, subscribe, and safe flying. See ya.